get a full body push pull session in. No part of me wants to walk in this gym right now. Let's start warming up the chest. Try that there, Nicholas. Really engage that lat. Hey. So, to be completely honest with you, no part of me wants to walk in this gym right now. But I'm here to tell you that's a normal feeling. A lot of us, I'm sure, have felt this exact same feeling. Been sitting out here for 16 minutes now, just contemplating why I would ever go in the gym. But we always know how much better we feel after we just go get the workout done. On the days like this, it's usually when the best workouts happen. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna get a full body push-pull session in. Realistically, I don't even wanna do this program that is designed for me, that I wrote. I don't have to, but I just know it's part of the process. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go through four supersets after I walk backwards on the treadmill. I'm not gonna show you that because you know I do that already. Four supersets utilizing push and pull. Leg movements are just gonna be kind of a, a simple two set quads and hamstrings isolated. I've been doing some compound this week. Then we'll go into horizontal push and horizontal pull. Vertical push, vertical pull. Throw some arms in there because why freaking not? I need to put this camera down. I think it's just another excuse for me to procrastinate walking in this gym. But let's do it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're the first one to see my videos on the tube of you with me. Oh, and also don't forget to look at my app, nickwalkerfitness.app. All my workouts, programs, my favorite programs, Hybrid Athlete 2.0, that's probably my favorite program. And the, the shred, the shred, full body shred, full body shred. It's also one of my favorites. All right, let's work out. All right, from our walking backwards, we're gonna go straight into a kind of mobility move for our hips, engage the core a little bit, a little bit of shoulder stability. Into spider steps right here, we're gonna incorporate this with some isolated leg movements. So just two sets, we're gonna go 10 each right here. We're just gonna be in high plank position, hands underneath the shoulders. Take that right leg outside the right hand, come back, train up to sway the hips, and repeat on the other side, alternating for 10 each. Kind of sink into it if you need to. Feel those hips open up, the groins engaging the core. All right, as I get set up for this next exercise, we're gonna be in an ISO leg extension. So if you don't have a machine like this where it's kind of separated, I would suggest going a regular leg extension and just going one at a time. But the idea here is to hold at the top of the movement to squeeze the quads, and we're gonna alternate each while there's time under tension on one quad. So looking at the program, we are gonna go two sets of 20 on each. So super light here, 20 on each. I'm gonna go at 32 kilograms. It's gonna be super light, but that is the goal. So get set up here. Extend, hold at the top. One comes down, squeeze, alternate. One, two, two. If you need to, hold yourself with those hands and brace those shoulders to pull them back and down just to isolate those legs as much as possible. Finish them up. All right, so again, the idea here is to just be pumping the blood into the quads to start today. The lights look really cool, by the way. We'll go from this straight into a seated hamstring curl. Two sets of 20, again, higher volume here, getting everything just kind of fired up. All right, if you're anything like me, this is one of my all-time least favorite exercises. Something about it just absolutely kills my groins, my hip flexors, probably because we're just not used to being in this position. Oh, there it is. But try to drive this top piece down as far into my quads as possible, flex the toes towards me, and now I'm just pulling so it's all on my hamstrings through those heels. Now this is super light, I'm at 43 kilograms, but that's the purpose is to go light here, higher volume. 20 reps, good squeeze at the bottom. Only two sets right here to get going, firing up the muscles, getting them engaged, then we'll jump right into, wow, I am just completely blurry. It's only focused on this crack. I think you heard me though. Hey. 
All right, next exercise. I honestly forgot this was even in the program. The superset's gonna be a tad weird because we're gonna go through another leg exercise, just isolating each side, heavier but still higher volume, and then start warming up the chest and back all in the same superset just to be efficient through the workout. I keep feeling like I'm talking to you and you're not over there. You're actually back there. Right here, we're gonna go an angled single leg press, three by 15 each. Then we'll go into a cable low to high fleck, fleck, pec fly, three by 15 and then chin ups three by eight. So right here, really focusing on the angle here. So if you don't have a opposite, these are isolated right with the leg press. If you only have a regular platform, that's okay too. So just go super light, but I'm gonna keep this toe kind of angled in. I'm gonna take this shoulder and take the shoulder blade on the back pad. Now, the idea here is to be isolating completely with, okay, those are locked out. That's why it feels really heavy. One second, these are connected. I'm not about to do six plates with one leg. Yeah, let's try that there, Nicholas. Ah, much better. All right, so again, as angled as possible, you're gonna really feel that glute, the lateral side of your glute and the upper glute. So you're thinking about what people call the shelf, right? So right here, coming down, good, deep, explode up. Think about pushing that foot up and out in a way so that your knees don't buckle. 15. And from the other side, again, you've probably not never seen this exercise before, but I promise it's a good one. All right, so you're gonna work through three sets right there. I'm gonna stay the same weight because I'm going for volume, especially with the half marathon this weekend. If you want to go for a little bit more muscle growth, increase the weight maybe by a plate, maybe a 25, and then decrease the reps. So I'd go from like 15, 12 to 10 on each. Let's start warming up the chest. All right, we're gonna set this up not to be all the way low, but decently low on a good stretch. I'm tall, so the, long, the further we go down, the more crazy stretch you're gonna get. So I'm gonna start three by 15. Idea here is stretching at the bottom. So kind of pull these shoulders back down and then palms straight up to the sky. I'm gonna come up and squeeze here. I don't wanna touch. I wanna to go to about an inch between to keep that tension. 15, nice and slow back, stretch the chest, <sighs> squeeze. Open up, squeeze, 15. Should be pretty light. All right, again, I know this might be weird, but starting to incorporate the back with the leg, just warming everything up and engaging, kind of like we did with the legs to start the workout, but now just integrating in the superset to keep the intensity high, keep moving. We'll go straight into that push and pull. So we had a technically a horizontal push. Now we're going a vertical pull with this last set of legs. So right here, as long as you focus on full range of motion, lock it out, big squeeze at the top. I'm going for three sets of eight. Chin ups, so that means underhand, palms facing you. Big squeeze at the top. One. All right, let's take this sweaty piece of life off. Gosh. Oh, I forgot I had my vaccine. Shots for Africa. Still on. Those things aren't coming off. Ow. Holy crap. They don't make those things to come off. Mm. last clip it was just a terrible angle so he probably couldn't even see what i was doing but three sets there we're going into an agonistic so meaning the same range of motion horizontal push and horizontal pull superset so we're gonna go an alternating incline bench press dumbbells so that's unilateral single sided into a narrow seated row so working the same range of motion go a little bit of lighter weight and on the bilateral movement which is using both sides which is the pull really focus on the squeeze so using a little bit more stabilizers with the dumbbells into some more isolated work bilateral and I almost forgot, we're also gonna throw some curls in there, cause why not? All right, so with the alternating, we're gonna hold at the top right here. So if theoretically, you're squeezing that pec, the top of the chest already. We're gonna slow and control down for a count of one to two. Push back up, going a little bit lighter, 10 on each. Really focus on not keeping the hands flat like a barbell, open up about 45 degrees to protect those shoulders. All right, so the seated row machine is actually taken, but that's okay because we can set it up on a regular cable like this and just use the floor. No excuses over here. I'm gonna try to make sure I'm in the frame. Ah, push your heels out, now dig your heels in. Same idea, 
reach, protract forward, let the ro shoulders roll, and we're squeezing back. I'm gonna go 15 right here. Same thing as a regular seated row, you're just on the ground. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that we go more reps or heavier on the pull than we do the push because the back side of our body is more important for longevity and functionality. It's what literally builds the muscle, pulls our spine back together and protects our spine, number one, but keeps our posture neutral. So my philosophy is we're gonna do more work on a posterior chain, which is the backside, rather than the pushing movements. Speaking of pulling, what would a workout be without a little bit of arms? Let's go 10 on each right here. Regular alternating curls, nice and controlled. Take that pinky to the shoulder. Weird is good. That's the uh, that's the key. Yeah. It's not about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. Yeah, I saw that. Hey, that's 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 the good stuff. So that's the first superset of push-pull. Now we're gonna go in the same agonistic, same range of motion, military press. So we're gonna go barbell, overhead press, bilateral, with a half kneeling, single arm, lat pull down. So again, that's still vertical pull. The vertical push, one is unilateral, single side and one is both, and we'll throw some triceps in there. All right, we're gonna go decently light here again, 10 reps, 12 to 15 on the pulls, but I'm gonna go just outside, shoulder width, come under the bar, keep it right at collarbone level. I'm gonna squeeze the glutes, to engage that lower half of the core. Keep it engaged the entire time through. We're pressing up overhead and push that head through. That head through just allows for a full range of motion and squeeze of the traps and rhomboids. All right, right here, we're gonna work this half kneeling position. So this half kneeling position is gonna help you engage that core a little bit more. I want you to angle from the side of this rope attachment of the cable system. So what that's gonna allow is a little bit more of a stretch and reach. When I reach up, I'm gonna pull down to my hip pocket, really engage that lat. Nice and slow, let the head follow, big squeeze. All right, same thing on this side. Big reach, big pull down to that hip pocket. Notice how I'm kind of following that hand movement with my head pattern. It's all working in unison. And we will finish the day with a little triceps. Going for about three sets of 12 here. It is a slight lean forward. I really want you to think about pushing through the palm area of your hand to feel the backside of that arm. My friends, that will just about do it. Sorry, I had to make sure my mic was on. That'd be really unfortunate if I was talking without the mic. But that's all I have for you. I'm gonna get in here, do some posing for the blood flow and the potential of maybe getting on stage one day. But that said, we just motored through a full body kind of maintenance workout for me right now. Getting some isolation in there, both single lateral and or unilateral, single sided and bilateral movements. Really. The idea here is to be training for longevity and functionality because at 80 years old, while yes, it might be important to look good, we want to feel good when we're 80 years old. So we're not reaching for something at the grocery store and pull something in our lower back, right? So working through different planes of motion, working through different ranges of motion and strategically loading those movements, right? So we did agonistic ranges of motion today. Sometimes like in my programs on my app, I like to go with antagonistic because it allows you, antagonistic is gonna be opposites, right? So if I was to do a horizontal push, I would do a pull is the opposite of push and opposite of horizontal would be vertical. I would do a horizontal push with a vertical pull that just allows you to load heavier while increasing the intensity because of the superset. So there's your nugget knowledge bombs for the day. 
I appreciate you watching. Is there anything, any kind of content, any kind of workouts? I know we used to do follow along workouts, just body weight at home. If you want those to come back, please let me know in the comments because I enjoy doing those too. And I do incorporate high intensity interval training in my workouts, especially to help with my runs. So with that said, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to the first one to see my videos on the tube of the U with me. I was just realizing when I said don't forget to subscribe. And I was gonna say don't forget to smile as well, but I always end this thing with don't forget to smile. So, have an awesome freaking day. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to smile.